I mean, I don't know every Portland woman. I don't know every Portland woman, so that would be a mistake for me. That would be unfair to say all the women in Portland like that because I didn't meet all the women. It's just a few. It was just a little fucked up. I was just like, okay, I'm out of here. Weirdo shit. They give you their number and then they act like they don't know when they gave it to you. I'm like, uh, miss, you got to cut that shit out because this this society is too sens sensitive right now. People are getting accused of all kind of shit. Don't do that to me. Fuck out of here. These people out here are weird as fuck. Some of them. I'm not, I don't know every woman, so you understand? I was like, good Lord. Why did you give me your number? I don't get it. You act like it's it's a privilege to have a number. Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? <laughs> they act like it's a privilege to have a fucking number nowadays. A number is just used for you to communicate. That's it. Numbers are here for us to just communicate. You can DM people. You can Facebook people. You know, have, getting someone's number is not a privilege. There was a time where it was. There was a time where getting a girl's number was a privilege. All right? Well, let me tell you when. The, the last time it was a privilege to get a get to to have a number was when they first invented the phone. When they, hey, Kabibi, Kabibi, that's it's not a privilege to get a girl's number. That is the way you communicate. You can communicate on DMs. You can communicate on Facebook. You can. There's so many ways to communicate now. So it's not a fucking privilege, guys. And some of you, some of you, some of you all think it's a fucking privilege to have your fucking number. It's not the truth. It's, 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 it's th this world is so, with, with, with the way um, technology is, the humanity is going away. The humanity is going away. You, nobody wants to pick up the phone anymore. Nobody wants to pick up the phone. You got to be ready for face, FaceTime. You got to make sure you're ready. It's like a lot of shit. Nobody wants to, you know, nobody wants to actually face human voice. They don't want to hear people's emotion anymore. It's just fucking hiding behind bullshit texts and dumb emojis. This is what we're hiding from. And you know why? Because the nerds invented all this shit. It's nerds. Nerds who didn't know how to express themselves. Nerds who couldn't talk to women. Nerds who were made fun of, they made these, they made all these gadgets to communicate. That's how they talk to girls, through Facebook, through through dating apps. That's how they can reach women. And then they become billionaires and these women end up fucking them because they got a lot of money. So they kind of played the game smart. You understand? You know, and nowadays, if you tell somebody to pick up the phone, they're, they're looking at you like you're crazy. Like, I'm like, hey, pick up the phone so I can tell you what the fuck your problem is. And then I need to pick up the phone so you can tell me what the fuck my problem is. I need to hear an uh, uh, emotion so I don't have to text you. And if I text you the wrong shit, you take it the wrong way because it's out of context because you should have picked up the motherfucking phone. You understand? You should have picked up the phone so you knew what my intention was, but you're going to go by a fucking text. And that's going on with a lot of people, not just me. I'm just talking because, you know, I like to talk and have fun. So I'm saying a lot of people are misinterpreting a lot of messages because you won't pick up the motherfucking phone. You understand? And you all think it's like cute to not, not communicate. You know, now the new the new shit is this. Here's the new one. Me and my boys are talking about this. The new one is when you send a message and they read it and it says seen and there's no response. Fuck you. Take this, sit on it and spin on it. For those people that do that, for you motherfuckers that do that, take it, sit on it and spin on it. You are pieces of shit. You just look at it and it says seen and then you just don't even respond. Take this, sit on it and spin on it. Fuck you. That's so whack. That's you kind of that's whack. That's whack, especially if it's if it's if it's um something that should be answered. 
You should answer them. But people are so caught up in wanting to feel so valued that they go, I'm not gonna, this is, how old are you? If Listen, if you're 12 years old, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I get that. That's young head shit. You're young and you're a fucking idiot. I get that. You can play that. But when you're a grown ass man like me, middle-aged motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? And I'm talking to grown ass women that do this kind of shit. Like grown, grown, not no 18 year old bullshit. I'm talking 40 years old. You know what I mean? Real stupid shit. Reading it and I'm like, why don't you just respond? I don't care what is the response, but respond like an adult. You feel where I'm coming from? And this is not, listen, and this is not every person. This is not every woman on the planet because I don't know every woman. Hello. Man, shut up. You coming in? Yes, yeah, son. This is not every woman on the planet because I don't know every woman on the planet, man. I don't know. I got 255 motherfuckers out here. How, how long did you work out? You understand? It's not every woman on the planet, but yo, like a communication. But here's another thing that women do. This is what they always do, right? All you got to do is go, they'll be like, oh, I don't have no response. But all you got to say is like, Yo, man, that's kind of fucked up. You acting like a little child. And all of a sudden, you see typing. <laughs> <laughs> this, I, I've tested this. I tested this. I said, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to insult them a little bit. Not call them names or nothing. But I'm going to test to see if they're really looking at my message. And I'll go, yo, that's kind of childish, kind of whack. You're a little bit lame. And as soon as I say that, it says typing. They can't wait to read you can't wait to talk they cannot wait to go well let me tell you that it, oh oh so you did hear see my messages so you did see my messages you couldn't even give me a simple answer on some simple shit like hey um can you tell me about that restaurant you say you're going to tell me about that restaurant and you don't tell me i said i i need to know about this restaurant i'm in your town i need to know about this restaurant you didn't say nothing you understand? I was like, and then I go, you know, that's kind of lame that you didn't tell me about that restaurant when you knew that I was coming in town. And they'll be like, typing. Right away. They cannot wait to read you. Oh, they got the energy for that one. But they can't just go, hey, um, hey, here's the, the restaurant. You can go to this place, this place, this place. They tell you, guys do this too. I said both. I said both. Guys do the same shit. I said, that's for anybody. You know, fuck them. Guys do it too. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a guy. I don't know. You talk to dudes. I talk to women. You understand? But I'm telling you, this shit is so hilarious. I just be like, yo, man, motherfuckers are weird. It's like, it's like the communication, like the phone is like people's power source. The phone is where everybody can get somebody back. I'm not going to answer him. That kind of shit. Don't want to face the music. But then everybody wants respect, though. But everybody's tough guy, tough girl, right? But you can't leave a message to say, hey, let me call you and tell you what's going on. But you be ready to read a motherfucker. Ready to type up some shit. Let me tell you something. Don't tell, because I have, uh, and that, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm telling you, it's amazing, because it's like, I don't know what's going on in this era. I don't know. I, I just think that communication should never go out of style. It should never go out of style. You know what I mean? It should never go out of style. Being being clear in communication lets people know. It, it, it lets people know how they should behave. It lets them know, oh, what's the deal? Oh, okay, got you. Thank you. Like courtesy. But everybody thinks you on a dick so hard. Oh, well, he's going to try to, he's going to try to fuck me. Like, stop. You know what I mean? Stop. Give motherfuckers a fucking answer. You know? Somebody's going to fuck you one day. It's not everybody. <laughs> Shit. People are weird. Don't give out your motherfucking number if you don't want nobody to call you. Don't give out your damn number. Say no. Fuck, it. fuck their feelings. Say I don't give out my shit. That's what you do. Don't give people their number so they can, like, they, like, you think we like practice dialing numbers or some shit? Fuck is wrong with you? Don't give out your stupid ass number if you don't want anybody to fucking call you. Jackass. <laughs> yo, 
Yo, Chase, shut the fuck up. Chase is here, boo. That's all I'm saying, ladies. <laughs> or sometimes you do this on purpose because we're performers. We're performers. And so you go, oh, Godfrey, that motherfucker called me. Look, he keep calling me. I said, yeah, you knucklehead ass, because I want you to fucking answer me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nobody hurt me, Huxtable. Stop. It's, a, every, it's always somebody. Nobody hurt me. I hurt people. What are you talking about? Yo, don't don't yeah, don't get my shit. <laughs> Yo, I don't. He's like, who hurt you? Every girl wants to think someone hurt you. Nobody hurt me. Pussy is plentiful. Keep it moving, miss. Stop. <laughs> who hurt you? Stop it. Nobody hurt. Nobody hurt anybody. Nobody. I'm not hurt. I'm the one that hurts. I do the hurting. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm single. I have no I have no attachment to anybody. Nobody hurt me at all. I'm just calling you to fuck out on your bullshit. And that is you, Huxtable. You do shit like that. That's why you came with that deflection. Because you're silly like that. Won't answer nobody. Be I'm just gonna read the message and it's just gonna say seen. <laughs> you know what should happen? Every time you read a message and it says seen, a drone should come. <laughs> a drone should come right to your house as soon as you do that a drone comes to your house with a little boxing glove and pops you in the face <laughs> like the Bugs Bunny cartoon do, do, do. Nah, who is it? bam answer your fucking <laughs> yeah people act like they busy right you ain't busier than me most of the people I talk to don't even travel as much as me at all on no day. They don't even trap. They don't even. Tra yeah, someone say, Garvey's not lacking for y'all. Oh, yeah. I, I know. People want to say that you lacking in pussy. Yeah, please, please, miss. Stop. Just because nobody's fucking you don't mean the pussy has stopped. <laughs> See, that's the beautiful thing about this world. There's other people. <laughs> you know? Women think because they ain't fucking one person, that motherfucker can't get no pussy anywhere else. S stop it. All right? Get over yourself, please. There's a reason why people cheat, dummy. There's a reason why people cheat. Because there's other ass. Fuck you think. Why do you think infidelity is high? Because there's other ass. Oh, my, Tamiko, you're on my side. I know, Tamiko, you're on my side. I know, Tamiko, you're on my side. You understand? There's more women than there are men. <laughs> I'm busier than you. <laughs> Zook, you're funny. <laughs> Answer your shit. Pow! <laughs> you know, there's there's plenty of dick and there's plenty of vagina everywhere. Okay, and you know guys always want to hit. Guys always want to hit. So, you women, you know you ain't got to worry about that. Because you know that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, we have thousands of options. You got dang right. And just because you don't like a particular guy does not stop the pussy train. Does not stop the pussy train ever. Remember that. So when you reject a guy, just do it in a humble way. Just go, sorry, boom, boom, boom. Don't go, nah. You. I know some people that say they. They say you wish you could have this. Yeah. Who's wishing? Nobody. Nobody's wishing to get pussy. Nobody. Most of the time, you wishing they would leave the room, get out of here. Who's wishing for ass when there's websites? There's dating apps. You can get ass on the phone. Who's wishing? Huh? You got masturbation. Masturbation gives you almost the same feeling. What is going on here? Porn is unreal right now. And you're talking about you wish you had this? Yeah, we know the porn stars. Who the fuck are you? We know the porn stars. Exactly. We know some of these porn stars. Who are you talking to? Five hundred $500. <laughs> What? It's unreal. Who's in the peanut gallery? A motherfucker that gets a lot of pussy. That guy right there, Artie Fuqua. He gets a lot of ass. He fucks a lot of women. Two. What are you talking about? Huh? Who's wishing? Who? No. Listen. Even, listen. It, we, we, we'll look at different accounts on Instagram. You understand? Look at different accounts on Instagram and there's like 
there's just the finest, finest, finest women on Instagram. Bad motherfuckers. Just you can be all day, and and I'm not the only guy that does this. You can just be looking. You be looking at black women accounts, uh, Latin women accounts, uh, and it's just. Asian women, it's just bad women. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Spanish, Dominican, Dominican, Mexican, Mexican, Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. <laughs> There's so many women. So many. So many. And guess what? Somebody's tired of that one chick. Somebody. Somebody's like tired of them. Right? So this is like, and even though Shit, six. our brains, no, it's five. Oh, I mean, I gotta get ready to be. Uh -huh. Because our brains are like when we see when we see um, somebody pretty we automatically go oh my god oh my god but but think about it I, listen this is not for everybody you know I'm talking shit because I'm just having fun guys so don't take this shit personal listen you see the baddest girls and then you go damn that's bad then you 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 scroll up and there's another one it's the same it's like and they all wear bikinis everybody's booty is out everyone's titties are out Everyone's titties are done. Everybody's booty is done. Everybody, it's the same old shit. No, I know you don't, you don't want to spread yourself too much, though. I didn't say you want to spread yourself too much, but there's people who do do that. I'm just trying to tell you that you should get over yourself. You should get over yourself is what I'm saying, that you should be a little more grounded and stop acting like you're the only thing on the planet. That's all I'm saying. That's all. I'm not saying that you got to be... Um, that you have to be, you know, like it's just because a guy talks to you doesn't mean you have to be with that particular guy. But all this like, I think I'm the uh, 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 oh boy. <laughs> what, well, what do y'all want to see? No, I mean, I'm not. Listen, you can listen. You can wear whatever you want on your account. You can wear whatever you want. That's what uh, Cloud9 says. What do you want to see? You can do whatever you want. That's your business. I, I mean, I don't. I can't control what you do. But don't get mad at the responses. You can't get mad at the responses. Listen, remember, I'm not talking about every woman. I'm not. That would be irresponsible for me to say every woman is like that because that's not the truth. I'm just saying, you know, in general, there's groups of people that do this kind of shit. That's all I'm saying. You know, casual sex is available 24 seven. You damn right. I have friends that, that, that pay for escorts. They get into town, they pay for escorts. I don't really like the escort shit. You know what I mean? But I know guys that pay for it. They go with the cancel, and especially with the cancel culture, with the Me Too movement, the escort service has gone up in revenue. Porn has gone up in revenue. You know that, right? Every time, every time women complain about some shit, the porn industry and escort services go up. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? How do I like Portland? The women here are weird. Um, so every time, yeah, isn't that crazy? Every time there's a new movement of 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 like men fucking up, the the escort services go up and the porn services go up. Yeah, this is all facts. It's all facts. Isn't that crazy? It's good to be out in the streets, have a wide on deck. That's all. <laughs> When's the last time I had a girlfriend? Oh, shit. That was like four years ago. Four, almost five years. Like, I've been single like four years. Five, yeah. Yeah, it goes up. Yeah. See, so there's always a benefit. There's always a benefit. There's always a benefit. And look at, look at all the sex toys they're making. The sex toys. Look at all the toys they're making. You know what I mean? Look at all the toys. They're trying to make real, real vaginas now. You can buy like a real vagina. You don't even need, you know, look at all the dildos y'all have. They're trying to, they're trying to, yo, they're literally <laughs> trying to keep people from meeting each other. They say, you know what? I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not coming out anymore. I got my handy vagina. I got my... <laughs> I got my real titties, you know. Soon, all this robot shit, they're going to have real robot women that, that feel like real. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. They're going to make real robot women and men. Watch what happens. You won't have to deal with none of that shit. Watch what happens. They're going to make. I bet you they are already making real robot women with real titties that look like real titties. And watch. I'm telling you, you're going to have a fucking robot. 
we're going to start fucking robot. 